at dawn here again. I was trying to do a live stream, but uh, it didn't quite work out. Uh, had some technical difficulties or some usury uh, difficulties. So, I'm here with a quick review of Halloween 2018. I wanted to do a live stream, wasn't able to do it, but I wanted to share some of my thoughts right off the cuff. Uh, right off the bat, I'm going to say that I'm going to go see this movie again. Um, because some things I might have missed, I'm hoping. But uh, I'll touch on that part later. Right now, I'm just going to start the review. Overall, I'm a huge horror fan. I've been waiting for this movie since it was announced. Super excited when I heard John Carpenter was involved. Got super excited when I heard Jamie Lee Curtis was also involved. Uh, all throughout the trailers, the teaser, the two trailers we got. Loved them. Just waiting and waiting and waiting and eventually October came. Super busy this month. Didn't he, Wasn't able to get to see it except for the day before Halloween. But I did get in to see it. And uh, my initial reaction was I'm a little disappointed. Uh, it's not a bad movie. It's not as bad as, uh, say, Predator. That would be the last rated R movie I saw. Uh, Predator was like an S show. I'm going to try to keep it PG so as many people can watch it as possible so that it doesn't get flagged or uh, not that I can get monetized. I'm a noob, but that uh, <laughs> it eventually won't get demonetized, but I'm going to try to keep it PG. But overall, my initial impression was it was disappointing. Um, and the reasons behind that were, one, the pace. It was a little too slow at times. Two, there was a lot of talking. There was way too much talking. The movie took forever to get going. And when it did, it really started to kick in. And then we'd have more talking. Or the pace would get killed again. Uh, you really don't need that much talking and discussion in a, in, a, in a Michael Myers in a Halloween movie. I know this is supposed to be a direct sequel to the original. So that's another thing I'm going to do that I didn't do. That I was planning on doing and I wasn't able to before I saw this. So I'm going to go see this. Probably not tomorrow on Halloween, but before the weekend's over, I'm going to go see this again. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch the original beforehand, and then I'm going to go into that with that in mind. And now this is going to be a spoiler-free review. I'm going to put a spoiler-free, uh, a spoiler review up later, but right now this one is going to remain spoiler-free. But I will touch on some other things, like I said, uh, the pacing, the... Uh, the tone of the movie was a little unsure, and I was worried about that when I heard Danny McBride was involved. And I know he has a lot of love for this franchise, but he had a lot of love for the Alien franchise as well. And Alien Covenant was just goofy, and at times this movie was a little goofy. Now I know all slasher films, and uh, all modern horror films, but even slasher films from the day, from the 70s and 80s, had a little bit of horror, had a little bit of levity in it but not uh, to the extent of this one. This doesn't have quite the over-the-top dark comedy horror that the Predator did, that Predator, uh, the Predator did, but there was still a little too much comedy for my liking. You can have a little bit to break the tension once in a while, but you don't want to have too much because then you start making fun of the property and you start making fun of the thing that we should be afraid of, the shape, Michael Myers. You, it starts to lessen the fear you, the fear you feel for that individual. Uh, things I did like was uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. She was really strong, just as strong as ever. She was uh, she was good in her role. The uh, the granddaughter, her her granddaughter in uh, that's not really a spoiler. That's in the trailers. It's her family that she's looking after. Uh, that's as far as I get into spoilers. But her grandfather, uh, her granddaughter is played very well. Uh, Michael Myers, when we do get to see him, he's awesome. The kills we get are very awesome. Uh, another thing I'll say on that, it's not really a spoiler. Uh, there's a lot of kills that are off scene, like off camera, and that uh, to me is disappointing. Like I'm going to a rated R movie and I'm definitely going to go to a slasher film or Michael Myers, a Halloween film, a Nightmare on Elm Street for Freddy Krueger or Friday the 13th for Jason Voorhees. I want to see the killer killing, not after the fact, the result. You can do that once in a while, but don't do it all the time. So, uh, that's my live take review of it. 
Uh, overall, I was a little disappointed, but I am going to go see it again, and I'm going to give it another try. And what, like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch the original before I go and see it. Uh, I would recommend this to horror, horror fans and horror fanatics, or anybody just getting into the genre, or anybody who just likes to go get scared in the movie theater. I would recommend the movie. I'd probably give it a solid 6 out of 10. It's not... One of the better Halloween movies, but it's definitely not one of the worst. It's I would say it falls around where part five, uh, and that's the curse of Michael Myers, or is that part six? I can't remember. I don't have it. This is what happens when you do live recordings. I didn't do my research. This was supposed to be a live stream. So this is basically a live off the cuff stream. Um, the Revenge of Michael Myers. That's what it is. <laughs> Curse of Six, The Revenge of Michael Myers is part five. So this one probably falls in about five. It's not as strong as six, even though six can be very goofy at times. Six is, uh, I think it's a really good one. Uh, the director's cut, not the producer's cut. I know a lot of people like that producer's cut, but we'll say, we can save that conversation for another video. But it's nowhere near, uh, say, part four or part two, or the original. It doesn't hold a candle to, to those. And it's it's probably about the same as like H2O. Like part five and H2O, I thought they were at a similar level. And it's better than Resurrection. Like anything at this point is better than Resurrection. Even part three season of The Witch, a totally unrelated film that the only time you see Michael Myers is on a TV when they're playing an ad for the actual Halloween 1978 movie is better that that little tidbit of, of Michael Myers is better than Halloween Resurrection Busta Rhymes to the rescue with Kung Fu kicks. All right, so I'm starting to blather on, so I'm going to cut the video now. I hope you enjoyed it. I will return with a spoiler-filled review of Halloween detailing all the characters, all the kills, all the good gory bits, because there's lots of them to talk about. Like I said, uh, it is a 6 out of 10, but I'm a horror snob. So your average horror fan might think a little bit more highly of this movie. I was of high hopes going into it because of how well it had done in the box office. But you also have to think of what it's up against in the box office. There really isn't anything. There hasn't been a Halloween movie in so long. And I know, and they tried to be faithful. And I can't really get into that stuff in the spoiler-free section. But I promise I'm going to do a spoiler-filled review. I'm going to talk about all the gory, bloody goodness. And um, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did... If you want to, give me a like. You don't have to, but if you want to, I'd love it. Uh, same with a sub. If you want to, go right ahead, but I'm not going to ask for it. Uh, that's your choice. If you like the video, if you want to see more like this, let me know. If you have anything to say, leave your, uh, leave your feedback in the comments. And let me know what you think of the movie. Give me your review of the movie. Give me some feedback on what you thought what you liked about this movie and what you didn't like and what you'd like to see in any future ones if they do actually happen, even though uh, Jamie Lee Curtis is getting pretty old. And, you know, I'm not going to tell you how the movie ends, but the movie ends like your typical slasher film. Like, who knows, you know, they could totally come back <laughs> because it, it's like Friday the 13th. Like Jason hasn't come back 10 times and and... Freddy Krueger has not come back a bunch of times. Anyways, I'm starting to blather on yet again. I tend to do that because I love talking to you. I love talking to my audience and my viewers. So I'm going to cut myself off right now. That's it. The end. I'm going to talk to you soon. That's it for this video. And I'll talk to you later.